Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, my name is Ahad Dragon. Today we're going to talk about the new Sony X900 HVRR update, <coughs> which has released uh, recently. So, in order to update your TV, uh, a USB flash drive is required. And uh, in the link, uh, there is a link in the description. Uh, I put it in the video. You can copy that website and then paste it in your Google Chrome. Then scroll down. You don't need to read this. It just has some explanation that there will be more updates on VRR later on. So it adds Android 10, VRR, some stuff in, in the, uh, for the UI, auto low latency mode. So yeah, this is a, a VRR and auto low latency mode with Android 10, UI, whatever else, update. So you scroll down to this section and depending on your model, if your model is X9000H, uh, I mean, then this is the one for you. If it's X900H or XH90, search it up on Google. It will be one of those. I mean, it depends on where you're living. If you're, if you're in the America, then download this one. Otherwise, Europe, this is for China. I mean, yeah, depending on where you live, download the corresponding uh, update file. So let's take America as an example. So as you can see here, it's gonna take uh, two minutes, even though I have a high speed internet connection 100 megabits per second so bear with me for a while <clears throat> let's read those stuff so yeah hmm. <clears throat> it says that this update has uh, like it will be released in October 6th but it actually released earlier and also there will be more later on and that Sony says that there might be some bugs, but I have I haven't had some critical bugs while trying out this VRR update. I think it will vary from one person to another. But so far so good. The only thing I noticed was the flashing of screen whenever there is some dark scene or something like that. I think it's because of the auto low latent I mean because of the auto local dimming uh, thing disabled because when you when you use VRR it disables the local dimming feature <coughs> so yeah May maybe you won't like that but it is what it is I guess <coughs> we can't do anything about it so yeah bear with me only 40 seconds to go so let this thing have, I mean, download while we insert the USB flash drive. So you gotta insert the USB flash drive and format it to FAT32 in order to make this um, update work. So hold on a bit, I'm gonna insert my USB. Alright, now the update has downloaded successfully. So go ahead and go to the show in folder or go to your downloads and extract the file or unzip it. It will take like a few seconds. Alright, so now go to your USB flash drive and right click on it to format it to FAT32 for some reason my PC is acting up a bit so yeah hold on okay right click format okay select FAT32 leave I mean ignore those other stuff you can 
you can change the name if you want I put it Sony update you can put it I mean you can you can type Sony update just to make sure it works quick format and start all right that was quick close now go to your, the file that you extracted which is this thing the one that says Sony DTV that's the one that you extracted you can check by getting in this um, WinRAR and make sure so yeah this is the one you copy it to your flash drive now you just have to wait a bit All right. So there's a lot of negativity out in the internet when you search up VRR of, for the X900H. Some say that without local dimming it's pointless and that they will refund or whatever. But the X900H without local dimming is still good. Even because you're, I mean like you're disabling local dimming for VRR which is one of the most important gaming features as well as the auto, la uh, auto low latency mode I mean auto low latency mode that's a different uh, thing it's not really important but y y yeah you can turn it on if you want it won't m it won't be a big difference but it's a good feature to have while VRR which is variable refresh rate a big one all right so after it's done copying you right click and then eject now we're gonna continue using my phone now so you go to the side of the TV with your USB flash drive and you insert it in one of those slots all right you see those uh, yeah you insert it here or here okay then you'll get the prompt to update your TV after that you like you I mean like it will automatically update your TV and then after that you'll get some new features I'll show you right now so after you update your TV you can press this button and then you go to settings to enable VRR you go here channel and inputs and then external inputs and then HDMI signal format all right you go to either HDMI 3 or 4 then you find the VRR option so this was the 4K 120, now you have the VRR. It also has 4K 120, but the local dimming feature is disabled. And make sure you plug your HDMI uh, to the third port to get the VRR or the fourth. All right, and make sure you enable, I mean, you choose that VRR and that you have RTX 3080 or a PlayStation 5 but the current PlayStation 5 uh, for firmware doesn't support the VRR but I think 
it will have it soon so that's it and yeah you can see that the they changed the settings and as you can see you can have the auto low latency mode it's grayed out at the moment because I'm using the VRR mode which is like and you can change the picture mode while using VRR mode it's only for gaming because you're gaming of course so yeah you can see that local dimming is disabled and that's it I hope you enjoyed this video please like subscribe share and have a nice day